Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D, there's a very simple workflow to emulate the popular look of Red Giant Particle plugins? Red Giant Trapcode Particular and Trapcode Form are famous plugins for Adobe After Effects for integrating complex particle systems into compositing. The style of the results is kind of a signature look of these plugins. Let's analyze this a bit. The particles seem to have a strong luminance or emission with an obvious Fresnel behavior. That means the emission is stronger the steeper the viewing angle gets. And the particles seem to be transparent because their emission seems to add up the more particles are spatially layered. This additive look seems predestined for compositing. But sometimes, however, true 3D particle systems are needed. For example, to interact directly with scene elements in Cinema 4D. But when shading in Redshift, however, a fundamental problem arises. Because how are transparent objects supposed to display a strong emission? In this scene, I am cloning spheres via a matrix object onto a standard particle system. The result looks kind of similar to the results from Trapcode. So let's take a look. There are two materials, both are extremely simple. A Fresnel node, consisting of dark blue and light blue, is plugged into the emission port of the standard material node. So far, so good. But what about this typical trap code look, meaning the addition of luminance the more transparent objects are spatially layered? The trick behind this is so simple that it's almost ridiculous. The material is only almost completely transparent. In the standard material node, the opacity brightness is set to 10%. Now, in order to get enough emission taking effect, it has to be extremely high. So, the emission value is set to crazy 100 units. In the material for the tracer, it's set to 50. So, it's the combination and polarity of extremely low opacity and crazy high emission with a colored Fresnel effect that creates that typical trap code particular look, right at your hands in Redshift. By the way, this workflow, based on lowered opacity, produces more differentiated results at much shorter render times than a similar workflow based on transmission and with full opacity. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D? Every beautiful Wednesday on this channel.